Do you have a hard time combing out your horse's thick tail? If you do, then this trick might help you. First, you'll need a lead rope and you're gonna put it over your horse's rump. And you wanna make sure that you offset the lead rope or the weight of the snap doesn't pull the lead rope off to the other side. Then you're gonna take a section of your horse's tail and you always start from the bottom and work your way up. And if you hit snags, you wanna make sure that you don't pull through the snag, that you take the brush out and go below the snag and work your way up from there. And we have a lot of windy days out here in Nevada. You can see the trees in the background. And I found this right here. You just loop the hair over that you have combed out. You loop it over the lead rope. You pick another section and you do the same thing again. And you just keep looping the sections on the lead rope. And on windy days, especially like this, it just keeps the tail hairs from getting tangled again once you've combed them out. And plus, it gets the tail hairs that you've already combed out out of the way. And you basically just do this for the whole tail. You just keep picking little sections and looping those sections on the rope. She has such a thick tail that I used to dread this but once I figured out to do it in sections and then have a way to keep those hairs out of the way, it just made it so much easier. A couple times I had my friend hold the hairs and my mom hold the hairs and I was like, I need to be able to do this by myself. I can't always have somebody here to hold her hairs every time I wash her tail and comb it out. And I tried the clips where you clip it up top and that didn't really work that well either so this is what I found and it works really well for me and I don't dread combing her tail out anymore I had just washed her tail and that was one of the last videos that I made I'll post the card up above so you can watch that video if you haven't seen it yet after I washed her tail I sprayed it with Shoshin and I let it dry and this was the next step after that so I'll have a link to the Shoshin and this brush here that I used in the video. This is my favorite tail brush. And this is the last section right here. I'm gonna bring it around and tie it on top. And this is what it looks like. I've tied one section on top of the other and see how the lead rope goes over her rump slash back area. Now that each section is brushed and tied, that's the hard part. Here comes the easy part. I'm gonna untie all the sections. And then I'm gonna brush through her whole tail. And there you go. Doesn't she have such a pretty tail? I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you're new here and haven't subscribed, you might wanna hit the little subscribe icon here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and off to the right side are some videos that you might want to take a look at. And if you really, really like this video, please share it with your friends. Sharing is caring and it's a really good way to help support my channel. Thank you and come back again.